If you've been missing those sunset strolls along Victoria's spectacular breakwater, you'll have to wait a little longer. Installation of handrails along the breakwater began in early February, despite critics saying the safety upgrade will spoil the view. The work was scheduled to be complete by the end of this month, but the Harbour Authority says some unexpected repairs will push the project well into spring. The next time you step onto the Ogden Point breakwater, it's going to look something like this. Handrails have been installed along three quarters of the iconic 700 meter stroll with cabling set to be added next week. I like it. <laughs> it makes it wider so you can come out here and you can get right to the edge and it's not seemingly that you need to stay in the middle of the breakwater. So it provides that safety, that feeling of security out here. But many people believe this is how the breakwater is meant to be enjoyed, free of obstructions just as it has been for almost 100 years. Safety got in the way last year when federal inspectors told the Greater Victoria Harbour Authority the breakwater is unsafe for the workers who maintain it. Now that they're up and people have had the opportunity to see them, there's a lot more positive feedback on. People we spoke to today aren't so sure. I like it that it's going to be safe and accessible, but I wish they looked a bit more natural. They look a bit cold and industrial to me. It's probably not beautiful, but it's the best you can do with the safety. That's probably a good idea. If you want to see for yourself, you'll have to wait longer than expected. The work was scheduled to wrap up by the end of this month, but in the process of installing the handrails, workers discovered several sections of pavement need to be resurfaced. So we're just going to take this opportunity while the breakwater's closed to redo that. That means the breakwater will be closed to the public until the end of April. The project's budget, meantime, remains right on target. The Harbour Authority says it's spending $425,000.